Well, happy Friday, a muggy night of football. And for the Lumberjacks, they sit 2-1 and one after last week's win over Sauk Rapids Rice. Now it's time for some section play. First up for Bemidji, the Moorhead Spuds, who also sit with a 2-1 record. Also homecoming tonight at Chet Anderson Stadium in an 8-5A clash. Big play here in the second. Jacks down six. Fourth and goal at the two. Jacob Bieberg, the keeper, and looks like he gets in, but the refs say no, he doesn't break the plane. Spuds take over on downs. Bemidji's defense, though, tightens up right before half, and Ryan Bieberdorf, are you kidding me? Feed in, that's a clean pick. 6-0 Moorhead at the break, but the Spuds take the ball. Opening drive and march right down the field. Oh, this way, this guy's pretty good. His second score of the night, 14-0 visitors. Now a three-score game. Jack's trying to get back in it, and Bieberg finds his man, Bieberdorf. He gets behind the defense for six, cuts the deficit to a couple scores, but... Keep an eye on this Spuds team the rest of the season. A good mixture of backs. Riley Shock breaks free along the sidelines. No one will catch him. All more head in this one. 41-21 Bemidji now 2-2 two two on the season. A pair of state-ranked teams in 2A. Pillager hosting United North Central to the second half. Huskies trailing 8-zip when Dylan Loftus rips through the line. Eight, 68 yards to the house. Two-point conversion would tie the game up. United North Central responds immediately. Quarterback James Clark takes it himself down the sideline. 35 yards of the house. Warriors back up by six. Pillager, though, does what they do best. Eli Horn, he takes it this time. 37 yards, breaks a couple of tackles. That puts the Huskies up for good. They would go to win this one 22-14. So a big bounce back game for Pillager. Nevis, they're fresh off beating number one ranked Wobbin, hosting Northern Freeze tonight. Tigers opening drive. Tucker Rowe goes 20 yards to pay dirt. 6 0 home team. They also look pretty good on special teams. Luke DeWolf, he'll field the punt. You just have to watch him go to work. Elude some tacklers all the way to the house for the touchdown. And then a little Tigers defense, the bread and butter of this team. Kyle Schmidt, he steps in front with the pick to set them up with good field position. Then, very next play, we mentioned this guy Wednesday. Jack DeWolf finds Keanu Yabendith for the pitch and catch touchdown. Nevis, they're still rolling 42 to 16, the final in that one. Well, how about 4 0 War Road? They make the long trip to Castle Lake Bina, and the Panthers light up the scoreboard first. Jared Brown, the old quarterback, sneak from a few yards out, 6 0 early. But the Warriors respond. Dylan Kane, he breaks free on the outside here, all the way down inside the five yard line. That would set this up a few plays later. Spencer Musgrove, you hit the pylon, and they give you six. The touchdown Warriors, they're 5-0 now on the season. 34-14, the winner over Cast Lake Bina. Staples Motley, they hosted the 8th ranked team in Class 1A Otter Tail Central. We start on the defensive side of the ball. It's Scout Strickland with the sack of the Bulldogs quarterback, Nick Van Erp. That'll give him the loss. The Cardinals would finally end zone on this. Josh Lombard pass to Griffin Repster for the score. Ottertail Central would beat Staples Motley in this one, 28 to 14. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.